Hello guys, in this set of videos uh, I will show you how to search for stocks using industry index. This is the second main source of searching for stocks uh, in my training. Okay, so I will give you a hint. I will show you um, how to use the uh, how to use the chart. Okay, and how to find the stocks. And I will give you uh, examples of stocks in this series. Okay, so let's go uh, and see. <clears throat> now, how to search for stocks using uh, industry index. Now, the chart that we are using is called freestockcharts.com. Now, this uh, this chart okay this free chart here I use it since 2010 when I discovered it it's just a, a small company okay belonging to a, a big broker I don't use the broker because it charges I think uh, $85 for a month and up but this, <coughs> most of the time, uh, is for day traders, okay? Because, you know, in day traders, we have uh, volume, they give uh, a lot of stuff that day uh, traders use. And for me, since I am doing only, most of the time, swing trading, I don't need all the stuff, level two and the other stuff. Now, this version, I use only the free, the free version. It means I don't pay anything. So you should do also because you don't need to pay anything to find stocks. Another thing, it works only with Internet Explorer on the desktop. Okay? So if you use it with uh, Firefox or with Chrome, it will not work because it will ask you to, uh, to install a plugin. Okay? This gives you the streaming. It means you will see the price moving in Rio. Okay, this is something that it is one of the best charts that are free that gives you the streaming. Most of the charts give you like a, a 20 minutes delay. Okay, 20 minutes delay. But this chart, it gives you direct, uh, direct uh, data that you can use when you want to buy or sell. Now, if you, you are interested, just to learn about how to use the chart, I have uh, I have made uh, uh, some videos, a list of videos in YouTube. You can search for them, or you can go to this link here. I I, uh, I put it in the description. Okay, it's it's a, a step by step guide how to use the chart, how to change everything, and you can just uh, try to use it. It's very simple. Okay, and it's not a big deal, okay? It's just you know how to use it, and then you begin to use it, and that's and that's it. Okay? So this is the first thing. You have the uh, you have the web uh, this uh, uh, chart. You install the plugin, and then you enter, and then you begin to see stuff. But understand that at the beginning you will see a lot of things. So and you will never understand anything. So you you need just uh, just to take a little time and in order to understand uh, how to use it because uh, there is uh, searches there are news there are uh, where you put portfolios uh, you can find uh, sectors uh, and uh, industries and uh, you can see ETFs uh, mutual fund whatever you want is there but this chart I'm, I'm trying to say is only for USA and for Canada okay if you you are from another country try to use another 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 uh, chart but the main thing whatever chart you have let's say from your broker you should find the same thing you should find where is the sectors where is the industries and each industry um, what are the stocks that belongs to this industry? Because you know, the market is structured. It means 
the market has what we call sectors, big sectors. Let's say, for example, banking sector. Banking se sector, it has a lot of kind of banks. If you go to drugs sector, you will find a lot of kind of drugs. Okay, uh, so industries. Each industry has some stocks. It means some companies that belong, they do the same. It means they compete. Okay, that, that's, that's why they put them together because they do the same. So when they do the same, you will find that uh, some stocks are big, some stocks are small, and they compete because they are in the same industry. Okay? And when we are searching, we try always to search for what we call the leaders. Leaders are the best stocks in each industry. We are not going just to take any stock. Okay? So let's go to the chart. I just I show you uh, uh, the chart, and then we can uh, go later another video and begin to give you examples. Okay, let's go to the chart. Okay, so this is the chart. When you put <coughs> uh, freestockcharts.com, you will get this. It says free stock charts. The web's best streaming real-time stock charts for free. This is the most important thing. You know, there are some brokers, like interactive brokers, they don't give you uh, streaming real-time prices if you don't pay. Or if you, uh, if you don't generate that much commission, they will not give you the streaming real-time price. But this char chart is excellent. Okay, now we have run premium version. We are not doing this. We are doing only run free version. We click. And we are in, as I told you, we are in Internet Explorer. Okay, now let's begin from the beginning. This chart has four parts. I will just put this four parts here. Okay. There are four parts. You find the chart here in the middle. On the left side, on the top, you find if you are uh, if you are looking for anything that you want, like uh, industries, uh, sectors, ETFs, uh, big uh, indexes. Uh, Canadian stocks, everything you find on the top here when you search. I will give you an example when we search. Now in the middle here, you uh, you create an account and then here you will have your portfolio. So I didn't sign in because I, I didn't show what I have here. Okay, so this is a secret as I told as I always because all my work is here. It means I uh, plan for the trades here. I follow the industries here. I do everything here. And then here, the third part, the, the fourth part here, at the bottom, is the news. Whenever you put a stock, okay, let's say you put Twitter as a stock, okay, you, you see Twitter. Now, you see here news about Twitter, which is so good. You click on this news and you find uh, information okay uh, Twitter Inc traded in a range yesterday that's bad okay it's just some people uh, like from uh, brokers they give news they give information they give uh, a lot of things now for me uh, I don't use the news so I don't care about this news so I always put it down like this like that like down I don't care about it since we are not speaking about portfolio, <coughs> I take this down. Just you hold this and you put it down. Now we are going to the search. Now here on the top under this blue uh, bar, you click that. And then you will see uh, a menu. Now, even we have here Canadian ETFs, Canadian common stocks. We, we have a lot of uh, Canadian indexes. Those... Uh, 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 who are from Canada, they find all the information. Now, for us, we try to go down a little bit, go down, until we find what we call Morning Star Industry Groups. 
Now this company, which is called Morning Star, okay, it, it it gives names of sectors like aerospace and defense. This is a sector. You find two industries: aerospace defense major drive and aerospace defense products and services. Okay. Now, if you want to see everything about this sector and the indexes, two indexes here, and all the stocks that belong, what you should do, you should just click this aerospace defense. Okay, just say give you an example. When you click that, what it does give you? It gives you one, it begins, it begins with MG. Now, when it begins, uh, when with MG it means Morning Star. This is a group, Morning Star Group Industry, and it gives MG six one one. This is just a number for this, uh, just to recognize this index. Okay. Now this index, when you see it, it's called Aerospace and Defense Major Dive, and here is the sector Aerospace Defense. This is the sector. Now, what is the industry? It's called aerospace defense major dive. Now, why we look at the index? You, you, a lot of people, they ask me on YouTube and other uh, social media, why do we look at the index? I'm, I'm telling you something very important. The index shows you what does this industry do in the market? Not all the industries are doing the same thing. Okay? Now, this is one. Second industry is this. It's called aerospace, defense, products, and services. Now, after that, all this you see, uh, uh, all this you see are stocks belonging to both of them. Now, if you want to separate, if you want, for example, uh, just to go to one, let's say, Let's say you want to go to the first one, which is called aerospace defense, uh, aerospace defense major dive. You want the stocks that belong to this one because you see, let's say you see the index is going good. So what you should do, you go back, go back to, uh, uh, to where we are. Whenever you are here, you just choose which index with its stocks because when you click the index, it will give you the index and its stocks. Let's say we do this. Aerospace Defense Major Dive. We click on it. Okay, it gives you how many stocks here? One, two, three, four, five, six stocks. And it gives you the index. This is the index. Okay, MG611. Aerospace Defense Major Dive. We have only two, four, six stocks. Now let's say to see the other one. Okay, the other in industry, the, the second one, which is aerospace defense, products and services. Aha, you will find a lot of stocks. So here we have more stocks than, than the first one. And for me, here, I always use the price. Okay, the price, it means I want to see each the biggest or the biggest uh, companies at first and then the smaller companies. Okay, if you go down, let's say here, you find this stock has only 15 cents. <laughs> Maybe it is, uh, it is bankrupt or it is gone out of the, the thing because I see no volume at all. I don't know what will happen here. Okay, let's say you want to, to see another one. This is only $1.65. Okay, this is a company in aerospace defense products and services. It's only $1.65, it seems going down. Now, I will tell you just to see uh, something very interesting. Why this stock is going down, while if you go to the industry, it's going up. It's the opposite. And this is what I am teaching you, is to search for stocks that go up and you can make money from them, okay? So, um, as, as I explained,
this is just the first video to show you the chart uh, why we use this chart it is so useful I discovered this uh, this uh, chart before I was looking online I have uh, one or two or three brokers the chart is so ugly I can't put lines uh, the lines that I use colorful lines I can I can use nothing so it was so difficult all these charts that I have seen but when I discovered this since 2010 until now 2007 it's nearly eight years I'm still using the same thing I don't use any other uh, chart because I don't do day trading so I don't need level two or other or sophisticated uh, chart because you know uh, for um, for swing trading it's so simple at the end of the day like 330 or 340 okay you buy whatever price you find with a limit order that's it so I don't need to to see a sense here and there to be aware of this it's just at the end of the day I buy when there is a signal okay so stay tuned go to the second video we try to see more and more information about this uh, index and industry